Pyramids are probably the first thing which come to mind after hearing about Egypt. But what if we told you there's going to be a new wonder in the majestic country of pharaohs? That's right, folks. The country has partnered with China for construction of Egypt's new capital city under the Global Infrastructure Development Strategy. From the tallest tower in Africa to marvelously engineered administrative buildings, keep watching this video as we tell you all about the two countries' towering ambitions. Before we continue, make sure to like this video and subscribe to Hybrid Planet for more answers on questions you never asked before. Modern Egypt We hate to be the ones to tell you this, but Egypt isn't all that it seems. What may look like an astonishing city of ancient structures lies only a few miles off the outskirts of Cairo, a crowded city of local Egyptians looking for a fresh start. In fact, it's like that in all of Egypt. The population has grown to over 100 million, and it's becoming increasingly difficult to house so many people, let alone provide them livelihood. But those days are long gone, as the dream of modern Egypt is now a reality with China at its back. The China Fortune Land Development Construction Company has injected a massive $20 billion into the project since 2016, raising 14 different government buildings, an entire zone for trade fairs, and a 5,000-seat conference center. So not only is the new city extremely futuristic, but it's also shattered multiple records in the continent. That 5,000-seat conference center we just told you about? Well, it's the largest in Africa. And let's not forget the 394-meter iconic tower right in the heart of Egypt's unnamed capital. Another record for the tallest skyscraper in all of Africa. Anyway, the tower will have 80 floors, mostly for offices and residences. It's just one of the 20 different towers being built in the new administrative capital. And if you think that's impressive, wait till we tell you about the Obelisco Capitale. It's a planned and approved skyscraper that will probably be inaugurated by 2030, but when completed, it'll be the tallest building in the world at a height of 1,000 meters surpassing engineering marvels like the Burj Khalifa. A massive Olympic stadium. If you're thinking the city is all about business and skyscrapers, then you're wrong. When completed, the new administrative capital of Egypt will be one of the most popular tourist destinations in the whole world. The MU-07 project includes construction of seven different structures like the Diamond Tower, Infinity Tower, and Central Iconic Hotel, mostly for leisure and hospitality. And in case that wasn't enough, there's also a brand new stadium under construction with a seating capacity of 93,000 people. It's going to be the largest in Egypt and the second largest in all of Africa. The stadium is actually going to be a part of a larger Olympic sports complex with the hopes of bringing international games to the land of the Nile. The city is also going to get its own version of New York Central Park, the only difference being it'll be twice its size. It's being called the Capital Park and it's expected to be 35 kilometers long. We don't know about you, but we think that it's going to be a really welcoming sight in the dry desert. And we saved the best for last. The city will also have a massive theme park even bigger than Disneyland. So, what's the plan and why is this city so important? Honestly speaking, if China is able to construct a new city according to the original plans, then we might possibly see a city like we've never seen before. Egypt's new modern city will have artificial lakes, 2,000 educational institutes, 663 hospitals and clinics, 40,000 hotel rooms, 1,250 mosques and churches, and 90 square kilometers of solar energy farms. Just talking about it has us imagining how spectacular this new city will look. And like us, you're probably wondering how tourists are going to reach this new city. You wouldn't want them having to travel all the way through overpopulated urban zones to just get there, right? So what's a city without its own airport? The Capital International Airport is also under development, and it's expected to take a lot of pressure off the crowded Cairo International Airport and Sphinx International Airport. But why is China so committed to making this city? Wouldn't it make more sense to build something so remarkable in their own country? Well, we're going to keep it real with you. China wants to have influence in the region. Think about it. It's literally an entire region just waiting to go through a major economic boom. And what better way to be a part of that boom by building a business capital right in the center? And let's not forget about the Sino-Egypt economic relationship was thriving before COVID-19, with Egypt being the fastest emerging markets in the entire world. So it kind of makes sense why China has remained so committed to building this city. 6 Million Residents Mr. Mohsen Salah al din chief executive of state-owned contractors involved in the project, said that this city was long overdue. In fact, he claims that construction for the new administrative capital of Egypt should have started about 20 years ago. 
And that's mainly because Cairo had just become so congested that even commuting to and back from work had become a nightmare. Like, imagine how you'd feel if you took a good couple of hours to get to work, and then you'd have to spend another two or three hours just to get back. And who knows, maybe all those new government buildings might actually straighten out a lot of the shortcomings in the future, since civil servants will live and work in the same city. After some digging around, we found that the new city will have about 6 million Egyptians, with that number possibly increasing to 7 million in the future. And as exciting as the new city may sound, there's still a lot of work that needs to be done in Egypt. Because technically speaking, it's a country of 103 million people. So we're sort of hoping all those fancy and towering government buildings only lead to more development in Egypt. But yeah, if we're talking about sucking congestion out of Cairo, then this project is set to make a huge difference. An interesting fact before we move on, did you know that all of Egypt's population only lives on 4% of the country's land? Egypt's Transformation This isn't the first time authorities have tried to build a new city to solve the country's biggest problem. In fact, a lot of leaders in the past have fantasized about utilizing the vast land to build new cities and town centers to revolutionize Egypt as we know it. And from the looks of it, they haven't really been successful. So while this futuristic city isn't the first time Egypt has embarked on a transformative journey, it definitely looks like the best. And much of that credit goes to the Chinese who have sped up development making sure Egypt meets its 2030 vision. Even though much of the city is still under development with major structures being categorized as topped off, Chinese firms have already started flocking to the business hubs in hopes of capitalizing on an unexplored economy. A Future's Blueprint the new capital city is important for a lot of reasons. We've already told you the first one, reducing congestion from Cairo. But let's talk about the bigger picture. The city is actually a blueprint for Egypt's future. Roofs covered with solar panels. All payments made cashless. An electric modeling trail connecting cities and airports. Each resident assigned 15 square meters of green space. All this is going to change the way we look at Egypt. We're no longer going to think about pyramids or sphinxes, We'll imagine a futuristic society living in a high-tech city where everything is monitored electronically. And when you think about it, this isn't just a new city we're talking about. It's actually revitalizing Egypt's main industries. You need a lot of personnel to build such a massive 270-square-mile city, so it also creates a lot of jobs in the process. But anyway, we're hoping the excitement of a brand new capital doesn't end up being a symbol of urban segregation and inequality. We're hoping there's light at the end of the tunnel, though, since the city is already being labeled as a monument of dictatorship by Egyptians. That's it from our side. So, what do you think of Egypt's new modernistic capital? Will this transform Egypt as we know it? Or will it end up creating a bridge in society? Let us know in the comments below. Remember, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos in the future. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.